Yo, what's going on, guys? Mush back at it with top five best PC hardware deals of the week. Let's get right into this with number five. On Newegg right now, you can pick up the LG 20M37D-B Black 19.5 inch LED monitor. It's a 600 by 900 monitor, five millisecond response time. And while it's not the best monitor in the world, considering this monitor's price is only $70 right now, that's a great price. And whether you're using this monitor as your primary monitor, or if you're just picking this monitor up to have as a secondary monitor, it would work well as that too. And 1600 by 900 is still a pretty good resolution. That's actually what a lot of the console games run at. Star Wars Battlefront on PS4 ran at that resolution. Star Wars Battlefront on Xbox One actually ran at a lower resolution. So that resolution isn't too bad if you're just getting into PC gaming. A monitor like this would do pretty well. And obviously it being a 1600 by 900 monitor, running games at 900p is easier than running games at 1080p. So you do have that going for it. But I'm not going to try to sugarcoat it and say that this is the best monitor in the world. It isn't. But for its price, it's pretty good. And as far as connection goes, you're looking at a D-Sub and a DVI-D port, no HDMI. But as a budget monitor, I think some of you guys would like to pick this up. Number four is a repeat from last week. It looks like this deal is going in and out. Right now, you can pick up the G-Skill Ripjaw Series 8GB, 2 4 gigabyte sticks for $30 on Newegg. Right now, this is a Shell Shocker deal, which is kind of like their flash deals. So if you're looking for 8GB of RAM and you want it for $30, I would pick this up on Newegg ASAP. $30 is the lowest that I think it's going to go. Maybe it'll go down to $25. I don't know. But 8 gigabytes of RAM for $30 is a fantastic deal. And this deal has been going in and out. Some days it'll be available. Some days it won't. So if you don't pick it up now, chances are in a week or two, you'll probably find another 8 gigabyte kit of RAM for $30. But when it is available, I do like to give it a mention in these videos because that's just a ridiculous deal for 8 gigs of RAM. And 8 gigs of RAM is still the optimal amount to have in a gaming PC. Even with the latest games like Star Wars Battlefront, The Witcher 3, Dying Light, all of them work great with 8GB of RAM, so the fact that it's $30 is really, really great. Next on Amazon right now, I personally don't think this is a fantastic deal, but you can get the Intel Core i5 6600K for $254, and for a Skylake CPU, I know a lot of you guys do want to upgrade to Skylake, and the prices have been pretty ridiculous for the i5 6600K. This is the cheapest I've seen for it. Before this, I think the cheapest I had seen was like $280 or $290, and that was on Amazon too. So if you guys are looking to upgrade to Skylake, $254 is the cheapest price that I've seen in a while. But still, is it something I highly recommend? No, but if you are eager to upgrade to Skylake, this isn't a bad option. Moving on to number two, the XFX Radeon R9 382GB video card is available on Newegg right now for $173, and there's a $20 mail-in rebate knocking it down to $153. I have an XFX R9 380 myself. I have the 4GB model. I've done some benchmarks on that video card on my channel. You guys can look that up if you want. This is the 2GB model, which 2GB isn't going to be that limiting at 1080p. If you're gaming at a higher resolution than 1080p, then yeah, you definitely don't want to get a 2GB video card. But considering that it is $153 after the mail-in rebate, it's a really good price. And yes, while having only 2GB of video buffer is going to scare off some people, I still think this is a pretty good deal on a very capable 1080p video card. The games I was playing, I was getting great frame rates on games like Grand Theft Auto 5, Metro Last Light, The Witcher 3. Like I said, you guys can look up those videos on my channel, but games were running really, really well with this video card. So for $153, yes, it's the 2GB model, but for that kind of a price, you really can't complain, and it is a pretty good deal. Finally, also on Newegg, we got the XFX Radeon R7 360 2GB video card. It's $100, and then there's a $20 mail-in rebate knocking it down to $80. Wow, that's a really good price on a pretty capable video card. I know a lot of you guys might think the R7 360 really can't hang, but on a game like Fallout 4, you can still play that game with this video card at medium settings. And that is console-like gameplay, and considering this is an $80 video card, that's a really good price. Yeah, are you going to be able to max out games like Witcher 3? No, but for an $80 video card, you probably aren't expecting to do that anyway. If you're playing games like League of Legends, World of Warcraft, and you just want to dabble into some higher-end games as well, this is a very good option, and this is the kind of GPU where you can just put it in a HP or a Dell computer. Maybe you'll have to upgrade the power supply, but that's it. And for an $80 price tag, that's really freaking good. So guys, that's going to wrap up this countdown for the top 5 PC hardware deals of the week. Let me know in the comment section down below if you guys pick any of these up. And also let me know your guys' requests for future videos. As always, guys, have a great day. Peace out.